Hi, uh, my name is Robin Wartell. They call me Jukebox. Uh, we down here on Skid Row. This is the Nickel, uh, Fifth and Crocker, next to the wall. This wall got a lot of history. I uh, I went through uh, my own drug addiction and and just learning, you know, going through my my own having my own experience with 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 life uh, down here years ago. I used to smoke crack on this wall. I came down here. I went from jump. I used to sing professionally background with different groups such as Lakeside, Rolls Royce, George Clinton, them. and I ended up picking up a habit. One year I was on the Joan Rivers show with Lakeside, the next year I was sitting in front of Fred Jordan and sitting down here on the wall with a pipe in my mouth. And uh, I was stuck. I was, you know, I, I just didn't want to live life on life's terms. I couldn't accept it. Some things that had gone down, it just wasn't, I didn't know how to deal with them. So I didn't want to feel, I just numbed myself. We used to, I would come down here because I felt nobody in the industry knew me, you know, would be down here. So I could come here, get loaded, regroup, and then go back home. And this wall is funny because the first time, I remember I used to buy dope right across the street. And then they said, let's go, this person, I had to use his pipe, he told me, let's go to the Berlin Wall. I said, what's the Berlin Wall? And actually, this is not the name, this is what this wall is actually called. It, it is, what I see can be me. But we dubbed it the Berlin Wall. Tents used to be all up and down here. As a matter of fact, check this out. Let me see. My tent was about right here. Uh, man, look, I had settled in. I had a, had the, one of the biggest tents. I had one of we called them condos. If you had a large tent, you had a condo. If you had a small one, you had a single apartment. <laughs> here we see. Rest in peace. Yeah. You see people die here or what? Sure did. Sure did. Let's talk about a little bit of that too. I saw people OD. I saw people. I, I've literally seen someone brain get shot out uh, during a robbery, a, a, a deal gone bad. And I've seen. I've seen so much pain here. I've seen so much so much misery and, and confusion and, and, and when I was able to step away step on the outside to look back in it, it, it you know reality a, a moment of clarity came in and that 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 you know that's the Holy Spirit gave me that light but man I, at, at that time you can't see it you don't want to see it even if you do see it you don't want to see it because that means you got to feel when I see this wall now I have a combination of emotions uh, but I, I do have a, 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 a great sense of appreciation and just gratitude to, to God for just having patience with me. How you doing? Um, I see a lot of people now, they, they, they this Paul, this, the, I, a lot of us, we, we look at it and it's like we graduated from it. We made it through, you know what I'm saying, by God's grace. You know, we, we, we think about, we sit back and say, man, remember when we used to, I remember when that used to, you know, even though I come down, you know, these cats, they just seen me come down here with different, different celebrities, uh, you know, I'm not going to call them names, but, you know, but they know I'm just me. They know me. They know me from when I was dirty, stanky, nasty on this wall and didn't care. They knew me from when I was selling dope and slinging dope, not trying to glorify it, but I had to do what I had to do because I had no other means of supporting my head. We be <laughs> look, the corner right there. Right? We got this thing where we have this call. I'm not going to put that out there and put it on blast, but they already know what it is. But there's a certain call. And when you hear it, that means you need to put yourself up or, or chill out on whatever you're doing. That's illegal because 5 is coming. Police are coming. So what ended up happening was they would be speeding. This is a certain t t pair. I forgot this. Uh, they, they called this 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 team these two two, two uh, policemen, Batman and Robin, one white guy and one black guy, and they would get they would speed they would go regular speed up to that light, and as soon as they get to that light, where that where they right, right where the bus is moving, as soon as they get there they cross that, they start going extremely slow, extremely slow, and we already know that they look we don't know who they looking at because this line is like about. 30, about 30 uh, or 25 of us up against the wall, and we don't know who they zooming in on, so we sit up here trying to act like we're just normal. Now, mind you, we just took a major, I mean a, a major is a full pull, 
Uh, and so you got, which is not cool to be trying to hold for a length of time. And they would just go real slow. And we all just be like. And then they get right next to you. They could tell when you had smoke in you, but they just be smiling and laughing. And they just go real slow right by. And as soon as they pass by, you be like. <sighs> <laughs> Man, that was the funniest stuff in the history of God. Alright, the song that I did was called, recorded was uh, called Will I Still Have Tomorrow? And it's from my, my CD that's coming, it's called Life 101. Straight old school R&B, you know what I'm saying? R&B yeah, funk. That's um, me. Well, let me see. <laughs> uh, the song is called, uh, say, I came yeah, yeah. up on the street at an early age. Watch my father run out and my mother get paid. The things she went through just to keep me fed. I couldn't take no more, so I had to make my bread. Now my family and I live in luxury. I even have a son and he looks like me. But oh, I'm kind of scared, there's a price on my head. The men in suits around my house, if they're the feds, I wonder, will I still have tomorrow? To make up for all the wrong things I've done today. Let's just talk about my life, man. But that's uh, where we're gonna find that out. Go on, on YouTube. YouTube put what? Robin Wartell, R O B I N W A R T E L L. Um, I, I I specifically chose this street and this wall because of the memories, of the pain, of the, of, of 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 the growth. Uh uh uh, and also believe it or not, appreciating the experience that I did have here in order to be able to bring that story about. I had to have those experiences in order to bring that story for the song when I wrote it. And, and God allowed it. And, and I just think, I'm so thankful because when I see this wall, it reminds me and I'm, I'm thankful and grateful for, 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 for grace and mercy, for be, Him sparing me, sparing my life. You feel me? Hey Robin, I want to thank you very much. Hey, you're Robin. welcome, man. Thanks a lot for it. We'll call it the Berlin Wall, which is known as what I see can be me. You know, I've discovered this wall has several different names, uh -huh. several different applications of things. Yeah, so yeah. It's just a matter of when you were yeah. here, what Yeah, what area you in. What thank God you went through it. And I'm Man. definitely going to take a look on YouTube. Do that, and do that. Your full name one more time? Robin, R-O-B-I-N, Wartell, W-A-R-T-E-L-L. -L. Thank you, bro. Thank you.